Hey everyone, I recently purchased the big medium small cyberpunk collection. It comes with the characters and I was trying to figure out how to animate these characters because it's written here that uh, the rig is not included in the characters. The challenge that I was facing, I was not able to animate them. So I found out a way or I found out a workflow uh, and I would like to share it with you. Once you open the project, you will get this level here which includes the characters and all that and if you notice the characters here if you click one of them they are all static meshes and fortunately enough big medium small provided some a post characters without the rig so i was trying my best to get it to upload it to something like mixamo to get the rig installed automatically unfortunately it did not work gives me some errors and it's not recognizing. I tried using Blender to remove certain things and maybe combine the meshes up to make into one mesh. Didn't work either. But uh, I try the OBJ files that was given by Big Medium Small. That worked. Unfortunately, when you use the OBJ files, this is what you get. The characters are without the textures and you will have to go through a lot of trouble and bringing the text just back and all that kind of stuff, right? So the solution that I found was using something called the Actor Core Accurig, right? This is a free application that you can download from Actor Core's website, which allows you to actually rig characters for free. So what I need to do now is if I just drag and drop, I'll just show you how it's done. So you can go ahead and download the Apos characters. So I have the FBX here, right? So I've downloaded it and then I've got the APOS FBX. There's several that they give to you. We can try one first. So I'm going to just drag and drop this into this slot over here. So I'm going to pick up the first one here, just drag and drop into here. And the Accurate will start doing its stuff. Okay, so it recognizes the character. So I couldn't get even to this um, level in um, Mixamo. Mixamo just do not want to accept the character at all. So now I've got the body. Uh, it's actually very straightforward. All you do is just on the bottom right of the of the app, you just click on rig body, it start rigging. It might take a minute or two, depending on your system. Okay, it's got the rigs, all the right places. And then I'm gonna click on the right hand rig or the rig right hand at the bottom. And then I'm going to say he has five fingers. Click on next. All right, so this is the right hand. And then we're going to rig the left hand. Click again on the button and finalize the character. So it's now, it, will, it is now creating the bone structure of the character. Bone mapping has been completed. You can see now we have a character which has doing some idle animation here. On the top right corner, you can choose the animation that you want. This is the for female, male. We have the A pose, the T pose, right? I'm going to choose the um, one with an animation because um, you can actually identify this when you are, when you bring this into Unreal Engine later. It'll be useful for us to have at least him uh, being animated. Okay. So the next step is actually on the right hand side, the bottom again. Uh, you can either upload to the actor core for you to keep it uh, in their service as a as a backup, or you can click on export the bottom right corner and I'm going to click to FPX and it, in the drop down here I'm going to choose Unreal and then for max textures I'm just keep it to original we don't need to have it to go to high, re high resolution and I'm going to click on embed textures because I want the textures to be embedded onto the character here all right so click on export and find a place on your perhaps on your desktop in my case I'm going to put it on my desktop Cyberpunk Crowds APOS 1 FPX click on save and what you will get in the download files, you get the APOS FBX files, and then you get a textures with it, right? This is a texture that comes with the character. All right, so let's jump into Unreal now, because this is a, this process is completed. I'm gonna jump into Unreal. All right, so I've done two here earlier while I was playing with it. So I have a sequence here, which I used to animate these guys. You can see they're animated, right? So how did I achieve this? All right, of course, we will have to go into the content browser. We'll have to make a little folder. So under characters, I'll make another folder here. Right click, new folder. I'm gonna call this new underscore a post, a post. Okay, and just for clarity's sake, I'm just gonna give it a color. Uh, let's keep it a nice bright green. So this is the file that we downloaded earlier and I'm going to go and grab the 
FBX here, just click drag and drop. So with the new version of Unreal Engine, which is 5.5, you will get this huge import dialog box here. So something that to watch out for here is a couple of things that you need to make sure that you uh, adhere to. Of course, you go to skeletal meshes. Do not select any skeletal meshes because it comes with its own skeletal mesh. And the other thing that you should watch out for is actually materials, animations we want because it comes with that animation. So I have enabled use T0A uh, reference force. It's enabled. Uh, please do not create materials. If yours is enabled, please disable that because I'm going to show you how to create the materials in a simple or easier way of doing materials yeah because the materials that comes with accurate ones are too complicated and it's very hard for you to edit them so i'll just leave that disable and i'm going to click on import all right so you've got your cyberpunk character here skeletal mesh this is the most important one so i'm going to click on save all quickly all right so we've got the skeletal mesh uh this animation we have a skeleton then we have textures that but there's no material it's fine i'm just gonna make a new folder of us. So I'm just calling it text. And now filter for textures, select all the textures, undo the filter, drag and drop into texture, move here. So you will see less item to, to, to figure out, yeah? So I've got my cyberpunk skeleton mesh here. I'm gonna drag and drop into the scene here, okay? So this guy is a skeleton mesh. If I double click and open up, you can see it's a skeletal mesh. Right, it comes with all the skeleton. This is exactly what we need, and but the textures are all um, not working well. It's fine. So let's do the animation first. It comes with the own skeleton, so we need to do some retargeting. So if you have animations from anywhere else, that probably from Mixamo or even uh, from Unreal Engine's Fab, you can download some of the uh, animation. You can actually use that, but you need to retarget here. Yeah? So I'm going to rename this so it's easy to find. I'm going to just see whether I can rename that uh, CP skeleton okay cp skeleton so it's easy to find later on and this guy as well we can just rename him cp skm uh cp a post one right all right so you don't get confused with the long name so i'm going to just click on save all so now we want to animate this guy right so i'm going to create a new level sequence and I'm going to put it into this folder. I'm just going to call this um, a cp underscore a post test. All right. So I'm going to select the character that we have brought into uh, Unreal earlier. Press Control A to bring it into a sequencer and animate. There's no animation here. So we're going to do some retargeting. All right. So in my uh, project here, I have downloaded a um, Mixamo character and I have the Mixamo animation here. So, so if I go to Cyberpunk and I've got down to characters and I should have a make some more animation here, right? So I'm going to retarget this one here. It's just a guy walking and that's it, right? And I'm going to right click. I'm going to say retarget animations. And here's where you choose which skeleton you're trying to retarget to. So our source is going to be the make some more source, which is going to be walking skin. Right, this is the one that I download from Mixamo, and the target is going to be our CP A post one. Right, so this is the source which I download from Mixamo because it has animation which I liked, and then this is the uh, guy that we want to send it to. So we can actually double click here to check that it's working, it's working fine. Okay, I'm going to click on export animation, I'm going to put it into the again the same folder here. I'm just going to call this CP and then uh, walk. Click on export and export. And then we have got that animation here. So I'm going to go back to the sequencer. And now under animation, you will see that we have this uh, walk sequence, right? Here we go. Right now it's walking. The second challenge is how do we put a texture on this guy? So it's actually quite easy. So I'm going to go back to my content browser textures here so you will find a bunch of textures that come with this package so what we do now is just drag and drop right so i'm going to come close to this character over here so i know for sure that this is this um the visor right so i'm going to look for visor oh there you go falcon visor right diffuse take the diffuse and then jump it onto the visor here and unreal engine will automatically create a material for you right this is how what it's done okay not only that it also creates a material with the corresponding uh, normal map 
it detects that it has a normal map and it actually puts in uh, automatically for you. And then if you want to change something, you can just maybe you want to change the metallic or specularity roughness, you can just put some values over here. Okay, that's how easy it is. It's amazing. So I'm going to now proceed. I'm going to look for his hate. I'm going to just drag and drop. That's hate. And then I'm going to go to his jacket. There's a bomber jacket, which is this guy over here. Uh, we have, we have what else? Gloves. Okay, we have got his arms, which is basically his fingers here. And we've got his hair. Okay, it's a hair. There we go. All right, his hair is over there. And then we've got pants. So I'm just dragging dro and dropping the uh, the color map here, yeah? or the albedo map. And then we've got his shirt. His shirt is right inside here. So I'm drag and drop there. And what else do we? I was missing. Uh, I think we got everything so far. Yep, except for the boots, of course. So let's bring in the boots. Diffuse. All right. So you may find that some of the textures are not. Uh, it's they, they're a bit too shiny, right? Then we got the material for a jacket, which is bomber jacket, and of course, when you open it up, it's going to have a, um, a roughness on it for 0.5. I'm going to change the roughness to 0.8, so it's less shiny. All right. So uh, apply and save and now your jacket is less shiny okay so this is how i achieved it so i hope you give it a shot uh, if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section below and if you found this useful of course do let me know and then um, like and subscribe all right so i'll see you in the next one take care bye for now